We need to have one hour till commencement of this evening's performance. Putting up a musical takes hundreds of people and months of preparation. But how do they do it? We do it on a weekly basis, so Wednesday is ice dress day. Okay. Yeah. Nice. This is the iconic Elsa dress, yes. right? Just be as gentle as you can. Because this beat will fall out. It has over 14,000 crystals and wow. beads. And they actually use real Swarovski crystals. It takes like 60 days for a person to hand sew it, one person, to complete this dress. Oh, wow. Yeah. And these are fitted specifically to the person who is playing the role. The yeah. yeah, so you see how this skin mesh was hand dyed to be as close as the actor's skin colour as possible. Mm. So that, you know, it gives the illusion that she's, these crystals are literally on her skin itself. Oh. The preset for this is actually very simple. We steam everything out. If these beadings come off, mm -hmm. Right? It's literally brought up and hand stitched back. Yeah, so they have like a stock of all these beads and crystals that can be used to replace the missing ones. Okay, we're gonna start folding this. Okay. So, in one scene, there will be a person to carry up the key with a crown and a scepter. So, it's costume and prop. Even though it's for such a quick second, it has to look that good. Yeah! Got it. B being part of the costume team, we try to tell the story through the costumes itself. Can you pass me that? Elsa's first few costumes are all very dark coloured to show that struggle that she has with her magic. And then the ice dress is made of lighter materials mm -hmm. to show that she's finally free. Do you learn all these on the job or like is it because you're so familiar with... As a person who's styling for a wardrobe for a specific character, you would want to leave a little mark on the mm. show as well. Mm. You want to be able to help the director tell the story mm. through the costumes. Mm. Wardrobe, go in. Hey girl, you're too slow, girl. Okay. <laughs> this snap button will go here. Okay. Are the dresses designed for them to change in and out? Yes, these are quick changing costume. There's a certain way of resetting it so that the moment she takes it, she can just put it on. So she has to come out of her Yeah, we have to put it at one go okay. and then zip it up so that she can quickly leave. It's like a 30 second change. Is that your role, being part of the dresses at the side of the stage? Yes, yes, it's part of my dressing plot. Yeah. So you kind of know the story inside out. If you don't, how are you going? Yeah, how are you going to do your plot, right? Yeah. Does Anna have the most quick changes? Yeah. So Anna's plot is very intense, very heavy. I can help you hold some stuff. <laughs> okay. Imagine I do it alone. Or... Yeah. <laughs> I'm rushing through. <sighs> yeah. That's another thing. You have to be aware your surroundings. Does it get busy when everyone starts to prepare? Yeah, you have the actors walking in and out their wardrobe room and then you have 11 dresses running everywhere. That is coming in. And that's just only our department. So other departments are also doing presets during the one hour call. Actually, the order folks moving. Coming up. So this is your last chance to make sure that everything looks good. And then you have to say a little prayer and walk away. <laughs> How do you feel before a show? Even though you're doing the same eight shows a week, it's always different. The nerves are a little bit there, the butterflies. This is what we do every day, isn't it? And when you come out of stage door and you see your little Annas or your little Elsas, you just melt. And the excitement, getting your ticket in your hand, like, oh my God, the magic. There's nothing better than a live experience. You hear us live, you hear the music, the musicians are live. It's you and it's us and we're doing it together for the evening.
once the show is over, we collect whatever that we can. We have to check for any costumes that have tears or whatsoever. Let them know the problem and write down the book. And then, yeah, sort out the laundry, then we go home. You have to like what you're doing. You have to know that this job, while it's tough, it has its fun moments. Most of us here, we don't come to work with a sad or angry face, you know. So all those little moments that you interact and yeah. with each other. Yeah, yeah. So. You have to have a sense of humour. Yeah. <laughs> but that's really how I do it. <laughs> okay? Okay. And how long have you been doing this for us? I've been doing musicals for six years plus. Okay. Yeah, but then I stopped bef actually like four years before. And this is actually my first musical since I came back. Yeah. This year is going to be my 19th year. What's the most challenging part of your job? It feels like going to a gym. Just because of the costumes and... Yeah, and because it's very fast, right. fast pace. Yeah. But you don't get bored. Most of us here are trained to get things down by the third day. That's when you slowly, you know, let go of your plot and just use your muscle memory. Yes, there you go. Take Honor, for instance, because I've covered it and I've, I'm now playing it, which is an incredible step to have made. It is really nice to have ownership on one at this moment in time. Do you ever feel the insecurities? Does it come into play? I, I, when, I, when I left in London, I, I didn't know this was going to happen. So it's been, you know, it's amazing. And to be able to do it is, I'm the luckiest person in the world, for sure. Knowing how it's being done, does it feel like the magic is lost? You know, sometimes when you see how to make the magic that goes on, you find a different like love for it. So it's a different kind of magic.